As mentioned, Asset Forge has a wide range of pre-built blocks for building cities, aircrafts, vehicles, castles, Lego bricks, and even primitives so that we can build out our own custom blocks in the future. I think you'll find the view controls very intuitive, using left mouse button for selecting the objects, right mouse button for rotating the view, and middle mouse button or the arrow keys to translate the view. Once you've placed a block and selected it, you'll be given translation, rotation, and scaling controls. You can control the translation with the arrows on the axes around the selected block, rotation with the keys U, I, and O, or you can mirror the object using the keys H, J, and K. In order to scale the object, select the object and click the box below the translation arrows. First, let's build out a vehicle for our game. Play around with the different blocks given to you to build out your vehicle. I'll grab the front of a car, the back of a truck, and the middle seat section. Then I'll start looking for tires to place on our vehicle. The first one will end up being too big, even with scaling. So let's end up using a smaller one. Then let's switch to the other side, realizing that there's actually more detail on the other side of the tire object that was initially facing away from us against the car. So let's make sure we rotate or mirror the tires on the original side to match our new detailed side. Now let's add some extra details to our vehicle, like beefy headlamps which we can then scale and translate to fit our vehicle appropriately. Then we'll add a roll bar and a police siren light set. Also scaling it so that it roughly fits the same scale as our vehicle. Now we get to add materials and textures to our vehicle. Currently, you can add paint colors, which acts very similar to a Lambert material with the color selected or we can add textures to our materials and actually mimic dirt, brick, metal, and so on. Because we have a police style vehicle, we'll focus on making the vehicle black and white with a red accent. Click on the material you would like to activate and then click on the block in your scene to apply that material. First, save your asset forge file by clicking the save menu item and selecting your destination project folder. Second, we'll click Export 3D and select the FBX export and export with the object materials selected. For the second set of art assets, let's build out some track sections for our vehicle racing game. Now note that the pivot of our assets are in the 000, 000 position indicated by the navigation arrow in the center of Asset Forge. We'll build out a basic straight section of track with guardrails to start. First, Let's use a block primitive and scale vertically to create a flat rectangle and then scale lengthwise to the object of 10 units. We'll use a basic brick texture, but feel free to use whatever you find appealing. Next, let's add our racetrack guardrails. I'll use the same block primitive and scale it lengthwise to the same length as our flat road and then scale down the width to mimic a fence barrier. Then do the same thing for the other side of the track. Then go through the same procedure of saving and exporting as we did for our vehicle. Save the asset for an object and then export to 3D using FBX format and exporting the materials as well. This time you'll see the brick material in your texture folder in the FBX output directory. Lastly, let's modify this straight section and make it a corner piece so we can build out a complete mini racetrack once we import these assets into Unreal. Scale both the barrier and the tarmac sections down to five units and then create a new corner barrier with that same scaling property used on the other barrier. Again, we'll save and export with the same FBX and texture settings as before. Next, we'll go into building our own custom blocks for use within Asset Forge. 